Peggy 12. Owen is a heavily armored, damage absorbing frontline fighter. She works best in a group leading the charge, and once she acquires a target, she is hard to shake loose. Smashing impact. Ron protection. Shield slam. Unlocking masteries adds a layer of depth to your hero and your gameplay options. There are thousands of possible loadout combinations. Here are two suggestions. Shield Bash doubles her fifth ability damage, but she loses her knockdown. Grudges Repaid increases her damage whenever she is critically hit. And Empowered Strikes gives a massive boost to her two striking abilities. This loadout maximizes Olwen's offensive power and line breaking abilities. Olwen's own Relentless makes her immune to snares and roots. Bax's Warped Flesh increases her armor by 10%. And AS's adaptation makes her immune to critical hits after receiving one. This loadout takes a defensive stance, extending Olwen's time on the field of battle. Like all heroes, Olwen's Mastery Tree contains masteries that may be shared with any hero you own. For Olwen, let's look at Desperation and Retaliation. Desperation reduces damage you take whenever you are seriously injured. Great for everyone, especially powerhouses such as Bax or Drolg. Retaliation gives a chance to automatically deal damage to enemies whenever she herself is hit. Great for anyone who takes a lot of hits, such as Glogob and Aesa. Our Iron Breaker Olwen is a heavily armored tank dealing physical damage. Her first passive Implacable makes it so that she can't be knocked away or pulled, and her second passive Murderer lets her deal extra damage to Skavens. I hit Glogob with Shield Slam, knocking him down. I use Kneecapping Strike, dealing medium damage and snaring him. I finish him off with Vengeful Strike, dealing even higher damage since he wasn't targeting me. I hit Nethys with Smashing Impact, dealing low damage. One more kneecapping strike and she dies. Sticking together works great in Arena, and Olwen works best within a group, so I'm making sure to stay with my team. I saw a power up in the middle, so I run up to check, but it's already been taken. I run back down, ready to fight. I decide to target Gloga. I hit him with Shield Slam, and then he gets pulled. Now I'm targeting Bax, and I hit him with Vengeful Strike. Then I rack up the kill with kneecapping strike. I re-engage and then I see a low health Felicia. I chase her and finish her off with vengeful strike. I continue running towards my team, wanting to regroup. A Vork had been following me, so I hit him with shield slam. Then I use smashing impact and grom roll protection. This is a self shield, absorbing up to very high damage for up to five seconds. My snare from kneecapping strike slows Vork and we easily finish him off. A Nethys runs in and I kill her with kneecapping strike. Bax is next, and I use Grommel protection just in case. I'm hitting him with smashing impact to negate his armor and we kill him. We hang out for a second and then my team starts to move back towards the fighting. I follow Volwark and Glogob up to the middle. Volwark pulls an enemy Glogob to us and I knock him down with shield slam. Volwark heal debuffs him and I use vengeful strike. Glogob tries to run away and I follow up with kneecapping strike, snaring him, and he dies. Now I'm targeting a Felicia and I follow her over the edge. I use Gromroll Protection, which absorbs the damage from her Reign of Fire. Immunity to her Snare and one Vengeful Strike gets me to kill. I'm using the tactic Relentless, which makes me immune to Snares and Brutes. Between this and my passive, Owen is practically immune to crowd control. Targeting another Felicia, I'm hitting her with Smashing Impact. As my team finishes her off, I use Gromroll Protection, which you can see saves me from taking a lot of damage. Owen is a tank, pure and simple. What she lacks in spike damage, she makes up for in sustainability. She operates best within a group, leading the charge and settling grudges.